Hi, my name is Julio Rivera. I'm an activist, journalist, adventurer, veteran, television presenter, and businessman. I've covered many of the major historical events going on around the world over the past several years, and after watching regime changes, conflict, and historic elections globally, I've come to the conclusion that the most underreported crisis in the world today can be defined in only one word, Maui. That's why I've decided to dedicate my time to educating people everywhere and exposing the dangers that exist on the devices that we've become tethered to and depend on for so many reasons in our day-to-day -day life. Welcome to This Week in Maui. On This Week in Malware, we'll be covering the EpiStart browser may redirect users to questionable websites. Tiao VAP may be associated with malware distribution. And Tornet is a backdoor used in phishing attacks in Germany and Poland. EpiStart, also known as EpiBrowser, is a Chromium open source project-based web browser that promotes itself as an attractive alternative to mainstream browsers. While inherently, Chromium open source projects are not malicious, the problem is that the project is very large. Thus, it has multiple interconnected components, and modifying the code or configuration may trigger unexpected interactions among them, potentially causing security vulnerabilities or stability issues. It means that browsers based on this project may not always be safe. And EpiStart only proves that, as it may behave like a browser hijacker, redirecting users to fake search engines and generating unwanted web traffic. Unlike traditional browser hijackers that modify existing browsers, EpiStart is a standalone browser that can manipulate search queries and browsing sessions. At the time of our research, EpiStart promoted epibrowser.com, a fraudulent search engine that cannot generate original search results. Instead, it redirects users to search.yahoo.com or other search engines, depending on the user's geolocation. How EpiStart EpiBrowser works? Once installed, EpiStart exhibits several behaviors that could negatively impact the user experience and system security. Redirection to fake search engines. EpiStart redirects users to use epibrowser.com or other questionable search engines, which do not provide original search results. Instead, they redirect queries to legitimate search engines like Yahoo, Bing, or Google, generating ad revenue for the developers. It should be pointed out that Yahoo, Bing, or Google are not associated with EpiStart. Potential endorsement of fraudulent websites. The search engine promoted by EpiStart, epibrowser.com, may lead users to deceptive websites filled with scams, fake software downloads, or phishing attempts. Additionally, the browser could switch to endorsing other fake search engines in the future, further increasing the risks. How EpiStart, epibrowser, spreads EpiStart can infiltrate systems through several tactics, including bundled software installations. Many users unknowingly download EpiStart when installing free software from unverified websites. It often comes as an optional component in software bundles, which users may install without realizing. Fake software updates. Rogue pop-ups and ads may claim that an essential update is required for a browser or media player, but instead, they install EpiStart. Compromised websites. Visiting infected or shady websites may trigger automatic downloads, installing EpiStart. Risks associated with EpiStart, EpiBrowser. While EpiStart may not be categorized as a direct malware threat, it still poses several risks. Loss of full search control. Users may be redirected to fake search engines, limiting their ability to find relevant and reliable information. Potential exposure to scams and malware. EpiStart search redirections could lead users to scam websites, phishing pages, or malware-laden downloads. Possibly challenging removal process. Since it is a full browser rather than an extension, users may struggle to completely remove EpiStart from their systems. How to detect and remove EpiStart? Signs of EpiStart's presence include unwanted browser redirections, the inability to change the default search engine, and unexpected installation of a new browser. To remove it, 
Uninstall the EpiStart browser. Go to System Preferences, Applications for Mac or Control Panel Programs and Features on Windows and remove EpiStart. Reset default browsers, restore Chrome, Safari, Edge, or Firefox as the default browser and delete EpiStart from the system. If your browser does not retain your customizations after the reset, be sure to save them in advance. Use a reliable malware remediation tool. Since rogue browsers may install additional adware or tracking components, running a full system scan with a trusted anti-malware solution ensures comprehensive removal. How to protect against rogue browser? Like EpiStart? To prevent unwanted applications like EpiStart from infiltrating your system, follow these practices. Download software from trusted sources. Always install software from official websites or legitimate app stores. Be cautious during installations. Use the custom or advanced installation option to review what's being installed and deselect unnecessary applications. Avoid clicking suspicious ads. Pop-ups and ads promoting new secure browsers are often misleading. Enable security settings, keep your operating system, browsers, and security software updated to prevent unauthorized installations. Employ a reputable anti-malware tool. A trusted anti-malware program will detect and block rogue browsers, hijackers, and unwanted applications before they compromise your system. By taking proactive security measures, you can avoid rogue browsers like EpiStart, protect your browsing experience, and maintain a secure and privacy-conscious online environment. Tiao VAP is a potentially unwanted application, PUA, that could operate as a malware dropper, a tool designed to infiltrate systems and introduce other harmful software. While PUAs are often dismissed as minor nuisances, Tiao VAP could be particularly dangerous if it is used to promote, promote harmful software. If the delivered payload is used for deploying an array of secondary threats, such as Trojans, ransomware, data stealers, cryptocurrency miners, and malicious browser extensions, it could lead to severe system security issues. How Tiao VAP operates? Tiao VAP is designed to silently introduce malicious software into an infected system. Here's how it functions. Initial installation and execution. Tiao VAP is often bundled with other software and is installed without clear user consent. It may appear as a harmless or even useful application, misleading users into allowing its execution. Dropping potential malware. Once installed, Tiao VAPP can act as a dropper, injecting malicious payload into the system. The malicious software in turn may download and execute additional malware, effectively stacking multiple threats on the victim's device. Deployment of secondary malware. Some malware droppers are known for introducing a variety of malicious programs, including Trojans and backdoors that allow remote access to the infected machine and ransomware that encrypts files and demands payment for decryption. How Tiao VAP spreads. Tiao VAP is typically distributed through deceptive installation methods, including software bundling. The app is often hidden within the installers of free or pirated software. Users who rush through installations without checking for additional components may unknowingly install Tiao VAPP. Fake software updates, fraudulent pop-ups, urging users to update Flash Player, browsers, or other software may install Taku Xiu VAP instead. Compromise websites and malvertising. Visiting unsafe websites or clicking malicious ads can trigger downloads of Tiu VAP and other bundled malware. Phishing and email attachments, suspicious email attachments, or embedded links may execute scripts that download and install Tiao VAP. Risks associated with Tiao VAP. Depending on Tiao VAP's payload, users may face the following security threats. Data theft and privacy violations. Stolen credentials can lead to identity theft, unauthorized transactions, and account hijacking. 
Compromised browsers may reveal email contents, login details, and browsing habits. Financial loss. Ciao, VAPP may expose users to other malware like ransomware, which in turn may lock personal or business files and demand payments to restore access, thus leading to financial losses. Persistent infection. The installation setup may include multiple malicious components, making manual removal difficult. Even after deleting Tiao VAP, remnants of the malicious payload or other malware may persist. How to detect and remove Tiao VAP? Signs of Chao VApp installation include unwanted software setups, browser extensions behaving suspiciously, and unexpected pop-ups. To remove Chao VApp, uninstall suspicious programs. On Windows, go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, and remove any unknown or recently installed programs. On Mac, navigate to Applications and drag suspicious apps to the trash. Reset your browser. Remove suspicious extensions from Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Edge. Reset browser settings to default. If your browser does not retain your customizations after the reset, be sure to save them in advance. Use a reliable malware remediation tool. A trusted anti-malware program can scan for and remove associated threats, ensuring a thorough cleanup of your system. How to protect against threats like Chao VApp? To prevent intrusions from Chao VApp and other threats, adopt the following security measures. Use custom installation settings. Always opt for custom or advanced installation to deselect unwanted programs bundled with legitimate software. Avoid clicking on suspicious ads and pop-ups. Malvertising campaigns may distribute malware through fake update prompts and fraudulent security warnings. Keep your system and software updated. Regular updates patch security vulnerabilities that malware may exploit. Employ a reputable anti-malware tool. A reliable security solution can provide real-time protection, detecting and blocking threats like TiaoVap before they can infect your system. By staying vigilant and utilizing strong cybersecurity practices, you can safeguard your system from malware droppers like TiaoVap and other cyber threats that compromise your security and privacy. TorNet is a backdoor malware infection that grants cyber criminals unauthorized access to infected machines, preparing them for further exploitation. Unlike standard malware, which operates visibly by encrypting files or displaying ransom notes, TorNet works silently in the background, opening a backdoor. Notably, TorNet has been distributed via email spam campaigns, primarily targeting German and Polish speaking users. The cyber criminals behind this campaign have previously utilized Agent Tesla. RAT, Remote Access Trojan, and the Snake Keylogger, indicating that TorNet may serve as an entry point for similar threats. Once a system is infected, attackers can use the backdoor to deploy other malware, steal sensitive information, or conduct further cyber attacks. How TorNet Backdoor Malware Operates TorNet executes a series of covert actions to establish long-term access to a compromised system. Here's a breakdown of its key functionalities. Opening a backdoor for further infection. TorNet creates an entry point that allows cyber criminals to install additional malware, access files, and monitor user activities without detection. This backdoor remains persistent, ensuring attackers can return and exploit the system at any time. Silent data collection and system reconnaissance. Once inside, TorNet can scan the system for valuable data such as stored passwords, browsing activity, and sensitive documents. It may also identify software vulnerabilities that could be used for deeper exploitation. Deployment of additional malware. Attackers may use the backdoor to install Trojans, spyware, ransomware, or cryptocurrency miners turning the system into a multi-purpose attack vector. Given the cyber criminal's history with Agent Tesla Rat and the Snake Keylogger, it is likely that TorNet is used to drop similar stealthy data-stealing malware. Remote Control Capabilities 
TorNet allows attackers to execute commands remotely, manipulate files, and modify system settings without user consent. This can lead to a complete system takeover, allowing hackers to exfiltrate data or uh, disable security defenses. How TorNet backdoor spreads? The primary method of TorNet's distribution is email spam campaigns, where attackers use deceptive emails to lure users into downloading malicious attachments or clicking harmful links. Phishing emails. Victims receive emails disguised as business correspondence, financial alerts, or urgent security messages. These emails often contain malicious attachments, e.g. PDF Word documents or ZIP files or infected links. Malicious attachments and macros. Opening an infected document may trigger macro execution, automatically downloading and running TorNet malware. Zip and executable files and attachments often contain the malware payload. Fake software updates or installers. Some users may be tricked into downloading fake updates or software bundles that include TorNet as a hidden component. How to detect and remove TorNet backdoor malware. Signs of a TorNet infection may include unexpected internet activity, disabled security tools, and unauthorized logins or file changes. To remove the malware, disconnect the infected device, unplug the system from the internet immediately to prevent attackers from executing commands remotely. Manually check for suspicious programs. Go to Control Panel, Windows, Programs and Features, and remove any unknown or recently installed software. Delete malicious files and disable startup entries. Open the Task Manager, Control Shift Escape, and End Suspicious Processes. Then, check the MS Config Startup tab and disable unknown entries. Perform a full system scan with a reputable malware remediation tool. Use trusted anti-malware software to detect and eliminate the components of the TorNet backdoor. How to protect against backdoor malware, like TorNet? Preventing TorNet and similar backdoor threats requires strong cybersecurity measures. Be wary of email attachments and links. Avoid opening emails from unknown senders or clicking links in unsolicited messages. Keep software and operating systems updated. Regular updates patch security vulnerabilities, making it harder for malware to exploit weaknesses. Use multi-factor authentication. Enable MFA on email, banking, and sensitive accounts to prevent credential theft. Employ a reliable anti-malware application. A trusted anti-malware solution is essential to detect, block, and remove backdoor malware before it can compromise your system. By remaining vigilant and following best cybersecurity practices, users can reduce the risk of TorNet infections and protect their systems from unauthorized remote access, data theft, and further malware infiltration. You know, as I think about the dangers that exist online, not unlike the subjects we learned about in this video, I know I feel a lot better having an anti-malware program like Spy Hunter installed in my PC, providing me the protection I need against malware, and I think you should too. Spy Hunter 5's strongest features are found in its malware repair capabilities. Spy Hunter 5's remediation algorithms dive deep into your system to remove and address complex malware issues affecting PCs today. While many anti-malware products only flag and quarantine malware and ultimately fail to fully remediate the root problem, the Spy Hunter 5 remediation algorithm detects, quarantines, and programmatically repairs malware problems on your PC. Spy Hunter 5 is a powerful PC utility that repairs malware threats in many cases where other competing anti-malware and antivirus programs may fail. To detect and remove malware for free, Go to enigmasoftware.com and download Spy Hunter today. Thanks for watching.